Good afternoon. My name is Steele Young. I am the VP of Business Development and Key Accounts for Satislow North America. It is my lucky privilege today to be doing a trade show release of a new machine and a new piece of technology. Before I get to the machine, I'd like to first talk a little bit about history, because when it comes to Satislow, the history is a huge component in the story of the polishing technology. Next year, we celebrate our 100th birthday at Satislow. So in 1921, Wilhelm Lowe started building polishing machines in his garage, and then he moved it to his garden in Wetzlar, Germany. Now, Wetzlar, Germany is relatively close to Frankfurt, and it is a key technology center, which some of you know, for optics, not just ophthalmic, primarily precision optics initially. So we have been literally building polishing machines for a hundred years. So I think the point is it's not our first rodeo necessarily. So today we get to talk about a brand new technology called Multiflex 2. So anytime there's a SATA slow machine that has a dash two, it is essentially telling you it is a refinement of a core machine. So SATA slow is known for core machines being generators, polishers, and AR coders. We build, design, and sell a whole bunch of them. So that's pretty much what we're born for. It's what we're bred for. So today, the Multiflex 2, what is it? It is an automated, first of all, it's over here to my left. It is an automated, high capacity polishing machine that offers a very, very low cost of ownership and at the highest reliability that we've ever seen until now, okay? Multiflex 1 was released with a with a, um, excuse me. <laughs> the universal polishing tool was released in 2017 with Multiflex 1. So the universal polishing cap is a key component to this. Now, what it does, it's one tool now for the entire working range. So whether it's a two base lens all the way up to a 14 base lens, we use the same polishing cap. Well, that's nice and convenient and it adds, improves productivity, but more importantly, changing a tool inside an automated machine is a very complicated activity. Polishing, by the way, is the, is the most difficult step in the optical lab. I mean, it's a very corrosive environment, there's a lot of moving parts, and there are a lot of fail parts, right? And you have polishing compound mixed in there, so it makes for a really nasty environment machine, the dual flex, about half of the moving parts inside the machine were there just to manage the tools, to store, manage, retrieve, and insert polishing caps. With the new system, we don't have to do that. In fact, you put polishing caps in the machine and no one has to return to the machine for about a half a shift. So the benefit of not having to manage our polishing caps is that now we have a very simple overhead gantry loader that just manages lenses. So he's got two, he's got one for a raw part, it's got a suction cup on it, and one with grippers to manage the finished part. Because it's a polished lens, you don't want to scratch that surface. So that alone makes a machine much simpler and much more reliable. So what you see the loader bed over there, the, in the loader bed we can have up to four work trays and the, the loading arm can access up to three trays at the same time on a next available lens project. So the idea now is we can do simultaneous processes throughout the machine. And when this thing gets cooking, man, that, that arm almost never stops. So every other polisher handles two lenses at once. So we have 50% of the machining capacity in here. So we can dive in a little bit on the features on the inside. Wade, you want to open that up when it's 
when it's appropriate. So I'm going to pass the, uh, the polishing cap around if anybody's interested to check it out. You'll see there's an RFID chip in there. The RFID chip is designed to make it easy for the operator to come in. He scans the tool. The machine keeps track of it. Those polishing caps are good for about 18,000 processing seconds. So the other aspect, having two tool spindles, it adds flexibility and also adds speed. So our most current, we have five processes available. The one that's most popular now is the top speed, because everybody wants to make more lenses, right? So the top speed process is a two-step polish. It's a rough polish and a fine polish. And in this scenario, we load the machine with the rough polishing cap in the back and a fine polishing cap in the front. And there's about a two-second transition between the back spindle to the front spindle. So there's not much downtime. There's not much time in the chamber with the lens that is not receiving a kinematic work cycle. So much improved from its predecessor. We used to have a concussion bar that went across the front. We didn't know it was a concussion bar until our customers said, hey, I got this permanent mark across my forehead from reaching in there. So when you get a second version or another iteration, you can have small improvements so you don't kill your customers, right? Wait, this, you want to open this other door for me too? You get a better look. So the thing we learned is that access makes the maintenance guys happy, right? Every panel on this machine opens up to give them easy access to get in. But the, the reality of the story is this machine doesn't require near as much time and effort as its predecessor. Primarily because of the simplicity in design and uh, the fact that we're not managing polish caps anymore. Another key feature is a tool wear monitor. So we have cameras with lasers in these little doors. I don't know if you saw it during the demo. The machine keeps caps. It grades the condition. It's not a, it just a bad. It's also monitoring the degradation of the polishing surface. We collect that data and can use that uh, as processing information for our MES systems. So that's the Multiflex 2. Uh, Multiflex 1, there are a couple of hundred in the field already since 2017. Uh, Satislo, at Satislo, we honestly believe that uh, this will continue to be our flagship feature moving forward. If you go to a large factory, you generally see them in large numbers. There's eight, 10, 12 next to each other. Until, until now, we've built, designed, and sold tens of thousands of polishers. A multiflex, there's probably 300 in the field currently. Uh, we're sold out till the end of the year. Uh, so that number will continue to increase with multiflex two. And I think the end result will be a customer experience that's even more improved than what we've done in the past. Okay. Any questions about the Multiflex 2? So Amy's reminding me there is a uh, Multiflex 2E available. So an economical version of this. So if you don't need, oh, I can talk about production numbers too. If you don't need 50 jobs an hour, but something less than that, there is a two spindle version of the same machine as an entry level. So the real run rate on the machine puts it about 100 lenses an hour. Most of my customers running top speed are reporting real world 45 jobs an hour. Okay, and that's legit, that's not, and that's high poly percentage too, right? Most of our customers are doing 70, 80% polycarbonate which takes a lot longer to polish than CR39.